Hey, what's going on? So what I'm going to show you right now is how you can import the MetaHuman package that you just bought from the Fab Store. So I have an empty project here. And just to save some time, I went ahead and opened up and enabled the MetaHuman Core plugins. Additionally, if you haven't done so, make sure you have the Core installed also. Right here, MetaHuman Core Creator Data. Make sure you have that installed in your engine every time you update an engine. Uh, you are going to have to install that manually now. So here's the project that we have. I have it opened. And basically, in the content folder, you can create whatever folder you want. I'll just say JS Meta. And here, I will just go to Show and Explorer. And then what I'll do next is go to my Downloads folder and just simply drag and drop that .mh package file that we got from Fab. I'll minimize these now. And now you're going to see somewhere here in the bottom right corner, just say import. Okay, perfect. I'll just close this out. And again, if we go back to the content browser, I'll just dock this. You will now see my MetaHuman character in here that we can just double click. You are going to need a missing project settings. You're going to have to enable here in a second, but that's okay. Let's just wait for this to load up. So what I'll do here is I'll just enable this and this is going to restart my project once again. Okay, and we'll go back to the MetaHuman Creator file when that's opened. Okay, and then from here, we'll just say create a full rig so I can show you that this is working. Okay, and once that's done, let's download textures. Okay, so once we're done downloading the textures, I will press play here so we can test out the animation. Now, one thing you are going to notice whenever I close my eyes here, there's going to be some black areas, but that's totally fine. I am using custom textures for the head. That's why I think that's happening. But once you actually assemble this meta human, it's going to look just fine. So that said, let's do that now. Okay, so let's close this out. And if I now go to my meta humans folder, you're now going to see the assembled version of this. So let's create a new level, drag and drop our MetaHuman in there. And let's test this out. Create a new sequence, add our MetaHuman, close this, or press G, and I'll type in blink. So I'll put one in this one, and one in this one. And as you can see, we're not getting that dark spot area whenever we have it in the MetaHuman Trader. But yeah, that's pretty much it. From here, you can go ahead and animate this character and render it. Again, this is pretty high quality photorealistic MetaHuman. Probably the most photorealistic MetaHuman right now in Fab.